Oh hi, what is up you all, everyone, this is your video recorder guy here, Charlie Afandi Adrian, I don't even know why am I doing this, but I'm doing this as a challenge, so anyway, I heard that you guys are thinking about bacon pancakes as a challenge on YouTube or Discord, but whatever, so I decided to make this as a challenge to see what the bacon pancakes looks like, so we can see what will happen if we eat those, okay. This is the bacon pancake that I bring in on my table plate, I don't even know why I let him to be in this ground, but that is just my thinking decision. So anyways, today we are going to do the bacon pancakes challenge, if this tastes good, you win, but if this tastes bad, you lose. So, here goes nothing in 3, 2, 1, go, down the hatch. Ah, yes. It actually tastes good, see guys? I told you that this challenge isn't very hard. <coughs> Pew, arg, ba, poo. Oh my god, what the hell is happening? Why is the small green in front of my body? Uh oh. <laughs> what the, what happened to me? I just turned myself into a pig just because I just want to eat some bacon pancakes for the challenge. I think I forgot this food is poisoned. Uh oh, I'm so done for. I better get out before everyone kills me to find the bacon. Oh wow. It's a pig. Now I can eat some bacon for my breakfast. Time to kill that pig. No, please don't kill me. I am Charlie Fandy. Oh my god, Charlie. My son, no. Amy, why in the world would you have to do this to him? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to kill him. I was just thought it was just a pig that I can kill him for my breakfast. You idiot. That's Charlie Fendi Adrian. I just saw him that he was doing the bacon pancakes challenge, but he wasn't allowed to eat that because this bacon pancake is poisonous. And then he turned into a pig because of what you did to my son. I'm calling the police glum to arrest you for what you did. Uh-oh. And then, Amy got sent to jail for 15 years after killing an innocent person that just turned into a pig. And Amy will never eat bacons for her breakfasts ever again after what she has done. Hey hey, that's not even the right intro. That's the old intro of the Minecraft news gone crazy that we used in episode 19. Change it back to normal now. Oops, sorry, wrong logo. Ah, now that's better. Anyway, greetings and salutations. I'm your presenter of the news today, Zoe Davy. Man, it feels good to be back in the studio once again, but in a different channel and universe. We haven't made a new episode two months since the Fujitsu randomness was prohibited in Minecraftia on the G4P verse. But thank god we have moved to a different universe which is Blue Otoko verse. And according to that universe made by Pedro, the Fujitsu randomness is still allowed in Minecraftia on his universe. So we decided to go on a different universe since it was prohibited in G4P verse. Yeah. The Minecraftia city in Blue Otokovis is very similar to the G4P verse 1, but that universe that Pedro made actually only allows Fujitsu randomness forever on his own version of the Minecraftia city, so it will never be prohibited. Oh and we forgot about that we got a remake and revamped studio. It was remaked by Pedro Silva, because he wants to make the show get even better. In this studio, we added some lanterns for the studio just like someone did in other company and other television companies that just did in other news studios. The reason why we added them because we want to make the newsroom more bright than ever, so that's why. But anyways you may also see something new in the studio as well. Okay. As you can see, we finally got some new helpers that can work in our studio together, including Finn, Jake, Bimo, and Marceline. They have returned after the old studio one was closed since 8 months ago, except for Princess Bubblegum, she can't work in the MCNGC studio anymore since she is now a ex worker. Sad. This is the green room. That's right. We haven't even builded that yet since episode 51 after we moved to a new studio, but we finally managed to get it. Sadly, 
It is not being reviewed yet for unknown reasons, but we can review it sometime in episode 69. And finally, this is the sport newsroom. Yep, that's right. We haven't seen this segment and even made this room for a while, but guess what? It's finally back since Stephen came back from his own death. We can also make new sport reports if it happen in other sports as well. So, welcome back to the segment, Stephen. Oh, and we forgot to mention that we also added more screens and more computers on the studio exit or enter. That is because we just want to make on Alfonso's side. Oh, and I forgot about to mention that. Everyone, we just realized that it was not Sky Animation's fault for canceling this show. It was the corrupted police golem's fault that caused him to make this show to be prohibited and cancelled in G4 P-verse. And Sky Animations, if you are watching this, we are sorry, I mean, we are deeply very sorry for not believing anyone that caused you to cancel our show, and I'm sorry for causing the fans to blame you, we learned our lesson. From now on, we will be more attentionally to see the responsible who is causing this, and we can also remember for anyone who said something disrespectful, the reason why it's because we are in bad mood and sad on this day. So we promise that we will never do that thing to you ever again, okay? I hope you forgive us for what we did. But please don't ever make this show getting cancelled ever again. It's already prohibited in G4Pverse. But nothing wrong is going to happen in Pedro's universe. Because that is just their job. Okay. Alright. Anyways here are the headlines for today. That's right. It's zombie apocalypse battle time. But this time we have a very special live report that can present in the zombie apocalypse. Say hello to Boris Anderson from Kalu. Oh wow, thank you guys. Anyways I don't even know what I am doing this, but that is just my job. Okay, so the zombies is approaching all over the city. So I decided to explore here and I can defeat them. Man, it's been like that happen as unseen disaster. But this place is just a life or just a little bit pain of a brand. Holy crap it's the zombies. I need to get weapons to defeat them quick. Man, that was so close. But I just realized they doesn't have a sword. Damn it. The best of what the hell? Why is my bow isn't working? Damn you Minecraft glitch. Screw it. I'm just gonna kill him with my pickaxe. Yes. He's dead. Oh no you don't you creepy zombies. I can't defeat yourselves so easily with a pickaxe so I don't want to get defeated. Holy crap it's a spider and I think I am going to lose. I'm still gonna kill you stupid monsters and a spider. You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna run away so they can never defeat me. You think this is easy for you to defeat me? Well guess what, no it's not, because I have my friend to defeat you. Too late, you're already dead, but wait. What the hell did that spider just said? You are dead, not big surprise TV. Darn it, I failed, I thought I could make it as a special report, but it wasn't easy for me. Well, I guess that's an epic fail, but wait. What am I doing here and what place is that? Oh my god, there is so many zombies and skeletons. What kind of a place was that? Let me out of here right now. I'm scared. <laughs> Darn, he was just a special reporter that we brought him here already. But now he's dead after this vanish. That is just sad. But anyway here is the second headline, yep that's right, on this document and according to the company website, Tsuriki caused another controversy, but this time on their pharmaceuticals company, why? Because everyone said that they are trying to make a Fuji Musil medicine to make them better by getting rid of the Fujitsu virus, but the co-helper of the medicine from the Tsuriki factory accidentally poured alcohol on a medicine and caused this guy to be dizzy and drunk like if he was taking illegal drugs. Here's Kate for the live report so we can see why this happened. Kate. In December 17, 2023, Zuriki made a mistake and a complete wrong medicine in their factory company that accidentally poured alcohol on three medicines. It is unknown who is responsible for causing this mistake, but maybe he got fired and arrested for what he did. You can see some blood that spread all over the floor because this guy never survived after drinking medicine and didn't realize that it was alcoholic. 
He has died after being so drunk and dreaming too much non-stop, so we talked about to his wife so we can see what happened and why he didn't listen to her. I mean, it was completely very tragic. I was trying to tell Johnny Crick that they not to drink that medicine because it was alcoholic and expired because the expiration date was on nine months ago. But yet he didn't listen to me and he got drunk and did you just like that he was taking illegal drugs. I was calling my parents to help him, but they are sleeping. I was upset and heartbroken after his own death. And he doesn't deserve to be drunk and dizzy in the first place. I can't believe sorry he did this. Their pharmaceuticals employees and the factory owners need to apologize for what happened days ago. But shortly soon thereafter, the Zuriki company made a memorial cemetery for Johnny Christopher's death after getting drunk and dizzy for their wrong medicine that they made. It was so tragic that everyone cried after seeing this, so tragic that it can be remembered in our hearts, memorials, and even more that we will never ever forget. Salutations everyone. This is Charles, and this is for people who missed Johnny Christopher over the past 29 years. He was lived in a peacefully village that we live. He was born in April 10th, 1994, and he never ever got revived in a hospital since. He was vanished, and he will be always remembered in our hearts, memories, and even more that we will never ever forget. Rest in peace. Johnny Christopher, we wish you that you are in heaven so peacefully. Hey, why are you guys are not listening to me? We are doing the tribute and memorial of this guy here. Are you guys out of your mind? I don't care. Let us out of here. We don't want to have to care of this guy. He's just an idiot and a complete peasant. We all agree about what that girl said. Let us out of here or else we will punish you. Now look what you guys have done. You made the rain being over. And since you all disrespected the funeral, I'm gonna kill you all. Tayback. This is all what you get for being so heartless in this memorial. You guys are supposed to be sad about this tragic and not being angry by ignoring and never give a crap about it. I mean, what the hell is your problem, guys? Well, that report didn't end so well. Some people disrespected Johnny Christopher's funeral that died for drinking a wrong medicine to be drunk and dizzy. Why would everyone ever insult him and doesn't even care about it? I mean, that's just wrong. But anyway, the third headline is, it's time for another travel guide. But this time, Oliver will explore the most popular city in the United States, and that is New York. So, here's the report with Oliver. Wait a minute, how did we got the Ben Curb travel guide intros back? Because we are too lazy to make a new intro of the travel guide. So that's why we got a Bin Curbs travel guide intro back. Oh, anyway hello again, man, it feels so good to be back once again, but this time we are currently now in New York, just because we tried to visit that here. If you don't even know what is this city, is the most populous city in the United States located at the southern tip of New York State on one of the world's largest natural harbors. The city comprises five boroughs, each of which is coextensive with a respective county. It is a global city and a cultural, financial, high-tech, entertainment, and media center with a significant influence on commerce, healthcare, scientific output, life sciences, research, technology, education, politics, tourism, dining, art, fashion, and sports. Home to the headquarters of the United Nations. And always remember, New York is an important center for international diplomacy. It is sometimes described as the world's most important city and the capital of the world, that was according to the Wikipedia. It has the Statue of Liberty when everyone really likes the statue a lot. We all thought that was built in the actual city of the country in 1876, but we're wrong, it was actually built in city of Paris in France. They also got the World Trade Center also known as the Two Twin Towers back in 1973. It is basically the most underrated towers, the North and the South Tower. But they are destroyed in 2001 due to that saddest tragedy ever. Even the Pentagon is also damaged by those American flight planes, but it was actually Al Qaeda terrorists that caused the plane to be hijacked and made them to crash the Pentagon and Twin Towers. They are later arrested for 35 years after they have done to the planes and towers as well. Anyway, I think that's enough talking, so that's the travel guide. Back to you, Zoe. Thank you, Oliver. Anyway we are going to do an interview today that someone will enter in our studio, and that is Noah Davies, yep, 
the bad man child guy that you saw in Universal Television Logo Bloopers episode 220 and from his YouTube channel. I don't even know why the hell would we interview him, but that is just our choice. So, Noah Davies, how did you came up with your videos as your original idea? That's none of your business, you s lady. Also, I'm still mad about Pedro still not friend with me because I didn't do anything wrong. Hey, watch who you're calling women's an S word. That is extremely offensive to say to a woman. Also, I don't care about if he's still not friend with you anymore. Also, you actually did something terrible because we knew you were behind in this the whole time. You never leave him alone. You caused pedophilia because you groomed minors and showed your private parts to minors. I mean, what the hell is wrong with you? Listen, it doesn't matter why I did this because they are messing up with an autistic 18 year old. And second, I wish this show should should die and being cancelled again because I really want it and it looks very trash. That's enough of your excuses. Also, why the hell would you send to our show like that? I mean, we already brought it back. That is super heartless to say that. Uh, you are such a total naughty sticky boys. I hope you quit this job forever. That is so it. If you keep quarreling in this studio and being disrespectful to us by bullying like that, I'm turning you into a zombie and you're gone. Ha. Huh. You think you can defeat me by turning myself into a zombie? Well they don't. I'm so free to be safe so I can't get defeated. You think so? Uh oh. God damn it, why would you guys let me turn myself into a zombie? I mean, zombies are just completely scary. I don't care. And as for your punishment for saying to our studio, like that, take this. <laughs> there. Justice served. Anyway, here is the fourth headline. There is an explosion occurred during the Fujitsu Siemens Club party in the Roflich city. I don't even know why is it called like that. But that's just a bill. It killed 102 people that I think everyone went crazy. But anyways, here is the clip report that we don't even know why we brought this. <laughs> いやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいや
Fed is the most necessary and faster store I just ever had. Maybe I should tell my parents about this so they can visit this store. In fact, I'm going to visit that now. What the? Hey, that's not even the actual shopping. That is just an enter or an exit of that shopping. I mean, why is there no inside of this shopping? Oops, I forgot about that this store is on the works. So everyone can visit sometime in 2024 when it's finished. It will take a long time to build. Damn you, Anna. The new brand Zuriki Shopping. Coming sometime soon in 2024. This shopping has been owned by... Hello, Zuriki. Are you tired of anyone trying to annoy you with their stupid annoying baby show musics like this? Guess what? We have a solution to make everyone not to hear them by singing the baby show musics anymore. Introducing the new headphones that you can't hear anyone when they are trying to annoy you. It's an item that you can hear some relaxing musics instead of the baby shows ones. So you can't hear anyone when they are trying to sing baby shows by distracting while sitting yourself to be relaxed. You can also wear them whenever you feel like listening to those musics instead of the baby show musics. Hey, why are you trying not to hear my own theme song? Take off these headphones or I will call you a son of idiot. Are you blind? I said stop ignoring my theme song and take off those headphones now. For the last time, take off these headphones right now. And if you don't listen to me and stop listening to the relaxing music that I hate, I will scream. <laughs> Alright sorry about hurting your ears, everyone, it was just Kalao freaking out because this guy won't listen to him, but anyways, what are you waiting for, buy now for only $450 so no one will annoy you to sing some baby show musics. From the Guan Brothers Company Alright, we're back, but anyways guess what everyone, that's right. After we read some proper headlines, we are now doing the headline requests. Sir Alfonso, it's on to you. Wow, that's a relaxing opening music that we used in my segment. Anyway, hello again. Everyone, welcome back to my request booth. Uh, it feels good to be back, but in the different universe. So glad to be here since the show is returned. Anyway, let's check out the requests that you guys sent to us since it was reopened. But first the Discord requests, so we can see the requests that you sent us days ago. Okay, the first request from the return is from Beyond, also known as MRRS, which says Travel Guide Starry Bush. That's a strange request. We don't even know what a Starry Bush is, but whatever, we'll let Oliver again to do his report, but this time he will travel into a Starry Bush. Hello once again, that's right. I am actually visiting another ville that you guys have never ever heard of it. I'm gonna explore here to introduce something that you guys will be interested on. This is a starry bush. It is just a ville where everyone is living so poorly and has no money back from the past, but they finally had it since 2005. It is unknown who builded that ville, but it looks like an interesting ville or kind of a grass ville. You can also see some four village houses being covered in grass. Yep, it's an almost starry bush ville, not gonna lie. But you know what, screw it. I am just gonna visit in here anyway. Wait, what did the sign said? Please open this box, it has many weapons inside here. Trust me, I'm a dolphin, by Richard. I'm pretty sure this is a scam, but okay, let's check it if there is something inside. What, just a book? Oh well, I'm gonna read it to see what did it just say. What the actual hell? That is a trick or a troll message. I can't believe this is the worst trick I just ever got. Damn you Richard, you total scammer. We will check to see the other buildings to show you something interesting. Wait a minute, is that a sign again? What does it say this time? Do not go to this library. This is dangerous. What does that even mean? Screw it, I am just gonna visit here to see what happens. Well, what did you expect? It's just a normal library book, and there is nothing wrong about it. 
All I'm looking is nothing but seeing some books that are in book library. This sign must have tricked me or something. <laughs> My god, what have I done? That explosion was so huge that I think almost a whole vill has been completely destroyed. Damn it, I know I shouldn't have just to ignore that sign, that was a very awful idea, and I was wrong. This wasn't even a trick at all, this is actually serious. If I don't get out of here, the police golems will court me. Quick, end this report before it's too late. Well, that was a bad ending. Oliver could have just not to enter this library because it was dangerous, but yet he didn't listen and caused almost a whole vill to be completely destroyed. How stupid is that? But hey, we still have more requests that everyone sent to us, so I will still continue reading it. This request is from, yep, you guessed it, Rory, which says, two trains crash in the last two days. Um, don't you mean three trains crash in the last two days? Because of those three images you sent to us, Rory, but oh well, yep, as you may know, in Zarak RF, the middle of Grass Hill, and Hasbridge, some three trains has been crashed as a complete incident, 70 people died, 142 people died, and 84 people died, the total of deaths are 296 people that has died in other country locations. It was so tragic that I think everyone are doing the protest of this memorial, it was caused by electrical, decoration failure of the coal smoke, and short circuit. Now you may asking, where the hell is the footage of this incident? Well, we don't have it, sadly, because we only have three images to show you, so, here it is. Okay, so, here is the first image that has a snow weather on the Zarak RF. It was a total crash that this manager forgot to put the better light bulb instead of an ultra-electrical light bulb. Here is the second image on the middle of Green Hill, you can see those trains that are completely disconnected and being crashed totally. But then on the second frame, the yellow train totally ignores the crash and moves on. And here is the third image of the crash in Hasbridge. This is the same unknown location where the yellow train lives in. We have another train that has also crashed but completely insane. It got distashed totally, and even all of those objects and windows are broken. Man, what a tragedy. At least, almost a few people survived it. Anyway. Let's move on from the another request. That's right. It's a request that actually made by himself. It's from Curriculum Norman, also known as G4PTV, and the original owner of the MCNGC, which says, a flying pig comes out of nowhere and crashes into a studio. Like if that's ever gonna happen. Well, it won't be true. I'm a flying anti can fly for everything just ever like I ask for fun to act like a crazy pig. Wait a minute, what the am falling? Oh my god, what is going on? Somebody please help me, I can't see. Blow, blue, what the hell is that strange smell? Somebody please turn off the smoke bomb right now, you're making my eyes bleed. We would like to apologize for what just happened in the studio. It has been gone way too crazy. But we can figure out this mess as best as we could. Alright. Sorry about that. A flying pig just came out of nowhere and broke out the studio, and caused the smoke bomb craziness until the witches and the golems appears to attack them. But thank god the issue has been now resolved. Um, okay. That was weird. But anyway, let's just forget about that and move on to a second request that G4PTV sent to us, which says, Travel Guide, a random arena that was built by a two-year-old. That's an interesting request. But, what? Travel Guide again? Come on. We just did two times already. Should we do it for once? Yes, we should do this for once, but we cannot ever do it too many times. We promise. Okay. Oliver, it's on to you, again. Man, I can't believe I am doing three times already by working on this job. I mean, when will this ever end? Ah, oh, forget it. 
Anyway hello yet again, so, I'm currently in this arena that I think it was made by a two year old, and after I saw that, I was like, what the hell? That is the worst arena I just ever saw in my life. I mean, whoever made this, it should be from the schoolers or their parents let him to build it. But shortly soon thereafter, some golems told me that it was the schoolers from the kindergarten that builded all of this nonsense. I mean, why the hell would they build in this place like this? They are supposed to build in their playground math school, and not in this place. Maybe that is because the school has been closed due to a temporary rebuilding or it is just a playground math that was closed for reasons. It is unknown why it was closed as a temporary rebuilding, but we can figure out sometime in the next year. Okay, I think that's enough talking once again, so, back to you, Zoe. Thank you Oliver, again. But, here is another request that is actually something strange, but okay. This request is from, well that's right, it's from Mertix Clin Productions 2012, or simply Mert which says, four just teleported out of nowhere, and then four decided to make a whole object show in the whole studio. Battle for gold. Oh no, not another invasion in the studio once again. Hi girls and everyone for here, and have you all tired of working on the news every day just because it was very boring and it will take too much time to work on? Um, no, we're not. I mean, we are just making it easily just because that is just our job. And you can't even tell us what to do anyway because this news and the headlines are important and serious to us. So that's why. Wow, well, guess what? I don't care anymore because I'm doing another object show for everyone to be on a battling. And that's bad, bad or gold. I will get some contestants to join my own battle. I'm plugging you. No, Davey, you will be my contestant as well. Okay, I'll participate. But only once, okay? Right, the show finally begins now! Darn, I can't believe I got eliminated from this object show. But okay, that is just a battle marble. So it's not bad to get eliminated, so yeah. Wow, that intro is actually interesting. It looks similar to the Taco Show Questions intro from the Animation Epic channel. This looks like if it was made by a nine-year-old. But okay, that's just an intro. Alright, so the question is actually from you, Zoe Davy. But this is the last request from the episode 68. Yeah, already. It's from Curriculum Norman, which says, Do you think that the corrupt police department is incompetent? Yeah, I mean, it is a bad department we just ever got since mid-2023. And I still can't believe they caused Sky Animations to cancel our show in G4 p since September 2023. We all thought it was the proper Sky Animations that cancelled the show, but we are wrong. It was the corrupted police golems that caused all of this, and those videos made by Curriculum months ago are actually right. I wish this corrupted police golem department never existed and be banned or fired for what they did to our show. I couldn't agree more. Anyway. I think we ran out of time for now, so that's the end of the news that we did today. When we come back in the next Saturday, we will make a New Year's Eve and Christmas episode in December 30th, 2023, which is the last video from 2023. So, stay tuned, and we will see you again next time. This is Zoe Davy saying, see you later soon. Wow. I mean, that was the worst episode ever in the Minecraft news gone crazy. It's bad. It's terrible and I wish this show should never existed and die. Not you again. And if you don't get out of here, then I will shoot you to death so you can never come back. OMG. He has a gun. I better run away. Uh Thank <laughs> you.